penny. So I moved here from Arizona just a couple months ago. Russia is super cold. They don't even have heat. I can't believe it. Oh, and Helga made this for me. Oh, Helga's my next door neighbor. I just moved here a couple months ago and she's been really helpful. Yeah. Helga is one of the sweetest, nicest people I know. She is super funny. You know that she, it's like Halloween every day. She's always dressed up in clothes with fake blood on them. I just think it's hilarious. My son loves her. <laughs> so one time I wanted to go out into the town to meet with some people. And so I was like, Helga, can you keep my son Nikki? And then she just pulled out a knife. No more, just pulled out a knife. I left my tushy off. It was so funny. Helga is super nice. I don't get all these rumors about her. They just need to get to know her. Helga, and I was born and raised in Russia. Been living in Russia... Well, really I was born in Russia until I was about three years old. Then I moved to Kazakhstan for a couple of years and then I moved back to Russia. So I have been living here in total for about 27 years. I am part of Russian Mafia. I am an active member. Last year I was actually voted president of Russian Mafia, which means I, um, well, it's actually quite fun. I get to organize killings, um, break-ins, kidnappings. Um, it's, it's a good close-knit group of people and we, um, we definitely have, um, good times together. <laughs> well, hobbies, yes, Mafia definitely takes up a lot of my time. But when I'm not um, with the Mafia, well, I still, of course, kill people, just because people are people and they bother me. But other hobbies are, um, I hunt, mainly animals, but, you know, sometimes other things get hunted. Um, I also like to collect knives, and I actually have my knife collection here with me, if you would like to see. Um, this is my main collection of knives, um, these are my important ones, but I have a lot, a lot of others. Um, this one is for fingers slash toes pulling off, you just stick their finger in there and then it gets cut on the little ridges and you just pull off. It's painful but usually effective. Um, this is my eyeball cork. And you just twist the pole and dish out. I like that one for um, children because they think, oh, we're going to drink some wine, but it's the rivals. Okay, this one, it's really a pizza knife, but I call it the flesh knife. Um, if I ever want to mark them with my name, this is what I use. Just engrave it in there really hard. This is a fun one. This is called the... Um, a beef pounder but I usually do it on people's backs. If I'm holding someone hostage for instance I just pound them when they do things I don't like. It leaves quite a mark as you can see. And this definitely is my pride and joy. This is the um, mafia knife and it is given to the president of mafia every time a new one is elected so last year I was awarded this beauty and I have used it for many killings since I have been awarded. Thank you. Actually, I love my hair because it really symbolizes um, my uh, my um, my theory of life and um, my morals. So this left strand is for um, my first kill, which was unfortunately for her, my grandmother, and I'll tell you about that later. And this trend is for my future kill, whether it is with the Mafia, or whether it's just a personal kill. Wait, um, I'm hungry. Do you have any food? No? Child slave. Um. Uh, my life story. Um, it, um, well, I was born in um, Russia. And that is where I lived um, with my mother 
and my father, Poppy, and um, Olga. And um, I lived there with them, and my grandmother lived there too. And that's when my first kill happened. Um, it was Christmas, and I say I want new bicycle for bike. And um, grandmother says, though, that is a little out of the price range. I said, you get me bike, and she said, well, we'll see. Christmas Day came, I did not get bike, and she lost her life. So um, that's when the first kill happened. After that, my parents sent me to go away um, in Kazakhstan for a while to live with other people. And then, um, then I lived there for a while, and then I came back to uh, Russia. When I returned to Russia, um, that's where the hotel incident happened. Um, would you like to hear the hotel incident? Well, um, I stay in the hotel and um, I was eating uh, mashed potato. And I take bite and I, I fight hair. I say, whose head is this? They have no reply. I say, whose head is this? No <laughs> I say, whose head is this? They say, ma'am, we do not know. I say, you tell me right now. <laughs> Or I kill every one of you! You tell me now, I only kill this person's head! You don't tell me now, I kill every single one of you! They did not tell me whose head it was, I lined them up back in the building and I shot them all. <laughs> they made me leave the hotel, for some reason. For unknown reasons. <laughs> Um, after hotel incident, that's definitely when the police started to be like, Hey, Helga, she needs to be detained. Um, but little did they know that I don't get detained. I do what I want, what I want. I wanted to see what would happen in Siberian prison, so I let them arrest me just to see what my limits were. And they arrested me, and I was there for 12 years. It's very hard to get out. Over the 12 years, I killed 27 people, give or take a few, and um, it was tough. When I was in Siberian um, prison, it was tough times. Tough times, um, we get meal like once a week, so uh, when we didn't get meal, we had to fend for ourselves. Therefore, I only um, <laughs> therefore, have, um, I only have one, two, three, <coughs> seven fingers. I had to eat the other three or the knobs of them. Um, it was tough life. Um, it was not easy. So when I get out of Siberian jail, I traveled across the plains of Siberia and um, I went to America for a few years. They did not like me, so I came back to Russia and that's where I am today. Uh, this scar, um, this scar is from, um, oh gosh, this scar, um, it's from Little Boy, um, uh, he was on side the road and I said, Little Boy, get out of my way, he said, no sir, I said, what did you say? <laughs> did you call me sir? He said, that's right, I called you sir, I said, you better get your butt to Canada right now or I kill you, he said, I do what I want, so I took a frying pan and I just, Smacked them overhead, but he had little stick and it just went right through. It's okay, I killed them. Nam kina, nas muzyka svela, a nocju my rastalin s pivica i sela. Kak glamour nam kina, nas muzyka svela, a nocju my rastalin s pivica i sela. That I actually kill what I do, I kill, um, I am giving you a little uh, sneak preview on killing. I know it's not this strand of hair right there, but it's okay. You're not really gonna kill her, right? You're cute. Okay, so see those two children over there? Yes. Well, um... I'll kill blue jackets. That's what keeps the eagle. Oh, what? 